At this time, ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor and privilege to introduce the Master of Ceremonies for today's celebration. Having received a papal knighthood in 1991, involved with numerous boards and organizations across Canada, President of the Dalliance Francaise, and the Vice President of Canada Lands, on behalf of the Edmonton Naval Community Committee, we want to extend a warm welcome to Gordon McIver. Today's event is a celebration, a celebration of the men and the women who have served in the Canadian Navy, and a celebration of their many campaigns and successes and their contributions to the peace and security enjoyed by Canadians. And of course, it is my tremendous honor, both professional as the Lieutenant Governor and as, as, as an individual and as a Canadian, to celebrate the Royal Canadian Navy's first hundred years of proud service to our country and to wish this institution continued success for many more years to come. Thank you, merci beaucoup, God bless. So the Navy continues to make us proud. They've made us incredibly proud for the past hundred years. It's an honor to be here to help honor those, those hundred years, the past century of excellence, and to share hope and optimism and pride in what's coming in the next hundred years of naval excellence, Canadian pride in contributing to a better world. Thank you very much. Let's commemorate the past and celebrate our veterans. I would ask you to support our Navy now and in the future. And I would ask you to support our nation and ourselves by building the new Navy. The centennial of our Navy marks a uh, proud, significant history of our, of our city. Edmonton's naval community has a proud history, contribution to our city, guarding and the safety and security of our nation. Today we're uh, commemorating the uh, new Belford Basin, the Tribute Park. The harbor was the center for the moving of supplies of troops in the Second World War, including 3,800 sailors from Edmonton. And as I was mentioning, that, that number is still there as a persistent number going out to, to the Navy. I'd like to recognize everyone in Canada Lands Company who have worked hard to develop the village at Griesbaugh and their wonderful park space. Today, we are christening a replica of HMCS Edmonton's bow, and in fact, we're standing on that replica right now. Just like the real HMCS Edmonton commissioned in 1997, which bears the number 703, so does this replica. The replica represents just one of the ways that my company attempts to create legacies that commemorate the connection between our development projects, like the village at Griesbaugh, and the Canadian forces. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now unveil two storyboards that highlight various important moments and events in the Navy's history. Gentlemen. Ladies, if you please. All of us gathered here today are witnesses to Andre Euclid's legacy, a strong and proud legacy to be shared by all who comprise the community of Edmonton and beyond. That very special dedication. It's worth repeating one more time, ladies and gentlemen, that the Canadian Navy has for over 100 years made important vital contributions to our nation's peace and security 
and to the peace and security of the entire world. And the Navy continues this work today, often in far off places that few of us have ever heard of. So let's take a moment to express a shared hope that all members of the Canadian Navy serving abroad will return home safely. And thank you for being here today. And at this time, I would ask everyone to please rise for the departure of our Vice Regal, the Lieutenant Governor.